Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, one of uh, my favorite um, little towns here in New Jersey. So there are um, a lots of places of course in New Jersey that I absolutely love but um, this is definitely in my top five uh, favorite little towns to visit. And so um, this town is called Lafayette, New Jersey. And um, I've been there a couple of times um, because they have like a lot of different antique shops and different um, small shops that I really love, small boutiques and things like that. So I have been there before, um, but this is my first time having tea at Lafayette. So they did have a tea house there for some time. Um, but it did close so every time that I went to the antique shops I wasn't able to have tea because the the tea room was closed for quite a bit um, but recently it was uh, purchased by someone else and so it's under new ownership and I really wanted to take the opportunity to go over there to do a little bit of shopping but also to um, check out the tea room so I'm going to be sharing my experience with you guys, how it went at the tea room, and then of course share all of my favorite shops with you. Um, I will share with you what I bought. I didn't really purchase a lot of things, um, but I found two new pieces to add to my collection that I absolutely love, and so I'll show you guys that at the end. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, talking about my experience at the tea room and showing you all the cute things that I saw at the shops. The tea room I visited is called Windsor House Tea Room and Bakery, and it's located in Lafayette, New Jersey. It's a small and cozy place, so reservations are required, and they have two time slots for tea. On the Sunday that I visited, the time slots were 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., the menu includes a variety of items, including a la carte items. One of their menu options is a tea for two option, which is $65. I think this is a great price for two people. It includes your traditional tiered tray and a pot of tea per person, so you can each pick a different tea flavor and share. My niece and I shared a pot of peach rooibos and a tea called Buckingham Palace Garden Party. They were both really tasty. We had four sandwiches each, and I got the vegetarian options, which were very delicious. We also got one cranberry and white chocolate scone each, and they came with these mini jam and clotted cream jars that were absolutely adorable. In addition to the items on the tiered tray, we decided to try two a la carte menu items, the soup of the day, which was a creamy butternut squash soup with a cute little teapot shaped crouton inside. We also shared a piece of broccoli cheddar quiche. For dessert, we each got a macaron, a cupcake, a delicious pumpkin mousse, and a piece of chocolate cake. The food here did not disappoint. It was very good and I would definitely come back. After we ate, we headed towards the shops, which were literally right next door. And the great thing about this town is that all of these shops are close to each other. And each establishment has several boutiques and shops inside. This particular place is called The Mill, and it's a pretty big antique mall with two levels of gorgeous and quirky antiques. Thank you. 
so before I close off the video, I just wanted to share with you um, the the things that I purchased. So I didn't do, I didn't purchase a lot of uh, a lot of things. So this is not going to be a huge haul, um, but I wanted to show you what I did purchase. So um, at the Mercantile store, they had um, different cans of uh, hot cocoa. And I actually have been meaning to uh, purchase some hot cocoa because obviously, you know, that, that goes, that finishes up pretty quickly, um, you know, during the winter uh, season. So I um, purchased this can of hot cocoa and like I said, I needed it because I had run out. And then of course, I just really loved um, the packaging for this cocoa. It's so cute. Um, and it, and it goes really nice with my little hot cocoa bar that I have in the kitchen. So I bought this, um, it's, it was $11 and 99 cents. So, um, you know, a bit pricey for hot cocoa, but I really just loved the can. <laughs> and like I said, I wanted to put it at the hot cocoa bar. So I paid more for the packaging, I guess. Um, and then I have the two pieces that I'm adding. Uh, that I added to my collection. So this first one um, is a little cream pitcher and this is from the Royal Albert Flower of the Month series and I actually do have a couple of these teacups. So I have um, the October uh, Flower Month, I have uh, July, I have April, and I have November. Um, although the November one is a, is a gift. I, bought, I purchased it for to give as a gift to my niece because her birthday is in November. Um, but I have been collecting um, a lot of the teacups from the flower of the month. So when I found this, I definitely um, had to scoop it up. It was $15 um, at one of the antique shops that I showed you before. Um, it's in excellent condition. It doesn't have any chips or anything in it. Uh, it just needs to get washed and you know ready for use <laughs> then i have this uh, teacup and saucer that i purchased from the same um little antique shop i still have this string from the <laughs> price tag that i have to remove this one was 25 dollars, and this is uh royal albert from the enchantment collection and i just i love these colors um, I love the, you know, uh, the turquoise colors with the gold. It just, it seems very regal to me. Um, and I absolutely love it. So, um, I got the saucer along with the teacup. This is what the teacup looks on the inside. So it also has some pretty flowers there on the inside as well. And then you still have the same turquoise and gold color on the teacup. So those are the two uh, three things <laughs> that I purchased at the store. Um, I was looking for specific things. So, you know, if, if I didn't find those specific things, I kind of just did more window shopping than anything else. As you guys can see, the uh, aesthetic of the stores is so cute. They fix everything up so nice for uh, the holidays. And just each store has so many beautiful things in it. Um, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that if you're ever in New Jersey that you visit that town because it's, it's a really lovely town and all the stores, like I mentioned before, are located in, in the same area. So it's like walking distance from each other. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then uh, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Leave me a comment. What do you think about um, the pieces that I got? And um, yeah. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. And until the next time, have a terrific day. Bye.